Catherine, describe to me how you guys finally make the intervention and how you finally rescue India. Well, <laughs> the initial intervention was a disaster. Not good. And I did everything that you're not supposed to do, which is you're in a cult. and You're, you're brainwashed. Brain and I know you're branded with Keith's initials. And it didn't go over well. At not all. at all. So it was a, a, a complete last resort to go public. Because I thought I can't allow, I have to, I have to disrupt the organization. I have to stop them from being able to do business as usual. I have to expose them. I started to uncover with help crimes, um, and they were abusing and exploiting women. And the longer I let this go, my daughter was losing weight. Uh, other women were being coerced, and it could have grown exponentially. Because that we was the plan. Made to do, we were being made to commit crimes yes. without our knowledge. So I was uh, terrified, I was desperate, and I didn't, probably a year went by, I didn't sleep. But 24-7, I was looking for ways to be able to take this organization down and luckily access to, to national media. So um, the New York Times broke the story. I worked with other media outlets uh, that were, were national. I was able to get a, um, an appointment with the government. I collected a whole dossier of crimes, everything from what I saw as money laundering to trafficking to kidnapping. I mean, I was a disruptive force and it was pretty much nonstop. And I thought when the New York Times came out, she'll wake up. How, she can't discredit, but they wrote that off as fake news. I thought that when Keith Ranieri was arrested, uh, that she would wake up. But it, I'm telling you, and then I even wrote a book because I thought if I, if I aggregate all this information and she reads this book, she's going to see what I see, and there's no way that she won't wake up. I mean, I literally, I, I left no stone. I mean, to... I stayed in Nexium a year after all of this happened. Yeah. That's how deeply entrenched I was. Was there a moment where you just said, this is crazy, I got to get out of this thing? Did that happen? Was there a watershed event, a moment? There wasn't really one moment, and I know why you're asking, because I think a lot of people describe yeah. it as this big, like, aha moment yeah. where the whole world clears up for them and they see the light. And unfortunately, that wasn't the way it was for me. It was more in stages. Yeah. And so I would get new information, and I would be able to interpret that as the truth, and I could accept it, and then I couldn't see my life as it was. Mm. Like, everything changed once I started to get more and more of the truth. India and Catherine, thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, thank you. Just awesome that you guys, it's great seeing you guys come together again, by the way. Um, Catherine, I felt your pain <laughs> in the docuseries, and you both are beautiful, and you look beautiful together. I just feel like it's such a relief to see you guys. I, I got to tell you, I don't know you personally, but I feel good about it. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Bye, thank you. <laughs> All right, take care. For more information about Nexium, just head to our website. You know where it is thedoctorstv.com, and make sure you have to watch the series, Seduced, Inside the Nexium Cult. It's on stars. It is tough to watch, but it's important to watch, and it's hard not to watch, all at the same time. So uh, take a look at it.